Hey, what's up YouTube? We just left Home Depot, uh, rented a tiller for the day. Gonna go home and uh, level out the pig pen and uh, try to get some seed and some straw down before the rain hits today. But, uh, wish us luck. All right, here's this tiller that we rented. Uh, so I picked up at Home Depot. It was about, I think, 150 bucks to rent it for a day. That includes, a so half that was just the deposit. We'll get the other half back. Uh, but uh, we're gonna fire this thing up and uh, try to level out some of this big pin. Got me a new pair of work gloves, this uh, Firm Grip Duranit. We'll give them a try. They look nice, they got super grippy. Pick them up at Home Depot today. I don't normally shop there, I'm, I prefer Lowe's, but uh, these are some nice gloves. So thought I'd give them a shot, they were like 12 bucks. <laughs> metal bands around their water barrel I'm gonna unscrew these and uh, dump this I kind of left it it's been sitting for you know a week or two after the pigs left now and it's got some mosquito larvae in it and things like that and I need to uh, just redo it and get it ready for next year uh, get a new top made for it stuff like that help keep the mosquitoes out of it so right now we're just gonna like I said get it unscrewed and get it out of the way If you have one of these pig barrels and you're going to dump it, move it, do whatever, you want to make sure you do not roll it over onto one of your nipples that you have on it. Because you break those or put too much tension on them and they're going to be useless and you won't have them for next season. So be sure you don't lean it that way. I'm going to turn it around, then I'll tilt it the other way. going to uh, scrape out the old bedding, a uh, little bands broken down inside the pig shelter and uh, kind of throw it out through the, out the pig pen and then we'll uh, seed and, and throw some straw down. Alright, pig pen is clean, ish, cleaned out and uh, got it all thrown outside, pen's been tilled down. I'm super out of shape and out of breath, and uh, it's time to go get some seed and some straw, and we'll get everything down.
All right, we uh, got everything tilled before the rain hit and got our tiller back to Home Depot before the rain hit. So I actually saved us 20 bucks. Ended up only being after our, we were our uh, after our deposit was returned. Uh, ended up only being like a 53 bucks, something like that. Uh, so not bad at all. Um, got it leveled out a little bit. And uh, uh, once the rain stops, we'll stop about five o'clock today. Once the rain stops, I'm gonna go ahead and throw that seed and straw down and uh, we'll go from there. Hopefully it should uh, start to grow back over the winter a little bit. And then when spring hits, we'll see it again real hard. And uh, the piglets, our next year's piglets, will have a, a nice uh, pin full of grass when they first come in, so. All right, it's uh, been a few days since we first got our pig pen tilled and kind of smoothed out, ready for some seed and straw. Um, I would have already had it done, um, but the past five days have just been chaos. Um, two of our kids tested positive for COVID. Um, thankfully, all the symptoms were very minimal. Um, they just had a little bit of a cough and congestion. Um, no loss of smell or taste, no fever, nothing really. Um, very thankful for that. Me and my wife are both fully vaccinated and uh, we've tested negative twice now and I'll test again before I go back to my, my day job. But uh, we've just been busy. I've been doing all my chores on top of the stuff that my wife normally does. And uh, so, yeah, I haven't had much free time, but uh, I got some time today. Uh, we're gonna get the seed down, get some straw down and uh, yeah, get the pig pen ready for next spring. So last year we uh, planted a perennial, I think it's perennial, uh, cool season ryegrass in the fall to reseed our pin with and we also plan again in the spring But that ryegrass pretty much filled up most of our pin um, this year. They didn't have the exact same thing um, But we got another um, fast growing mixture and uh, we picked up a uh, some pasture booster uh, We're gonna go ahead and get all this seed thrown out today and uh, And then if need be you know, we'll throw some more down in the spring, but this will help get us this will help get us started <laughs> Our grass seed down uh, we're going to go grab our bales of straw uh, spread some straw around on the ground to help protect the seeds from the wind and the local birds and uh, should be good to go I'm attempting to put on a little thinner than I did last year last year I had such a thick layer on I wasn't sure it was gonna break down before spring hit but uh, it had it did fine but I'm gonna put a little thinner layer of straw this year Pin, put some straw down everything's gonna look pretty much you know better from there on out um, seeds gonna grow back you know within a few weeks you'll start seeing stuff sprout up but where you won't see anything grow back as in these areas right I'm gonna finger right uh, there that area right there <laughs> you won't uh, you won't you probably won't see grass grow back in those wallows until springtime uh, there's another one over here you can't really tell but it's like right over in that sorry your finger right. right over there and uh, those really won't start to grow back some grass till spring, um, but they will grow back, um, do not worry. Our plan is to uh, let these kind of solidify back up over the winter, and uh, then we'll seed those again, and we're actually gonna dig out our pig waller, probably about right here, and uh, in hopes that, you know, by us choosing where their waller is, uh, they won't have one up so close to the fence again next year. So. We're gonna go ahead and throw some straw over top of those, just for, because I have it. And it'll look nicer, um, but I don't know that's really gonna make any <laughs> do any difference. Still, uh, I mean, it's not gonna make any difference. But I got two a bale, two little squares still, so I'll throw them over top of these pits, and they will be done for the day. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we try to put out a video at least once a week, uh, occasionally miss one, but we do our best and we look forward to putting out more videos for you. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and let us know what we can do better. We'll see you next time. Peace.